Well, I'm here with JR Fuller from HPE, and because we're at the HPE Discover event, I'm assuming this bike uh, either flies or is connected somehow. <laughs> this is a connected bike. But does it fly? It does not fly. Okay. Although well, I guess if you get it going fast, fast enough, enough, you yes. could actually lift it off. Okay, how is this thing connected? What's happening? So this is connected. There's several sensors here that are connected to uh, gather all kind of engineering data. This is really an engineering uh, problem that we're trying to solve. And it's all connected up and it goes through a, a, a uh, National Instruments My Rio box, and it's wirelessly connected to our EdgeLine EL1000 converged IoT system, and this is where we're doing all of our data collection. So behind me, you see this digital twin. So this is the digital representation of this physical bike. So at, yes, as you interact with this bike, you see the interactions take place on the digital twin. So that makes it really cool. So why would I want this? So you'd want this, so for example, uh, the engineering application for this is, um, you know, you build your prototype, a lot of that happens in the digital world, so you put it through its digital paces, but then you have to build a physical prototype, and you take that to the test track. But you can't take the thousand engineers with you, no. but you want to show them what's going on at the test track. So by doing something like this, these engineers can be located throughout the world. They can be in Canada, they can be in the US, they can be in Europe, they can be in Africa, they can be in Australia, and they can see the physical interaction of what's happening with this data all at the same time. And you didn't have to put them all on airplanes and fly them someplace. So obviously that saves a lot of money and, and, and a lot of time, I imagine. A lot of time and a lot of effort. And you don't build until you got your digital working. Your digital needs to be performing well, then you build your prototype. So it really cuts down on your R&D costs and your turnaround time. You get immediate feedback on what's going on, so your product improvement cycle shortens tremendously. How many sensors are on this thing? Right now, I think there's six sensors on here that are collecting all kinds of speed data and things like this. This is more like a proof of concept that we take to shows, but um, an actual bike, if we were censoring this for an engineering application, could have 100 sensors on it. Thanks for joining Can us on the show. show. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you.